Hello, my name is Teresa Pierce and I'm the Interpretive Programs Coordinator here at Auburn Valley State Park. We wanted to share with you today a quick glimpse inside our collections and a look at a few of the interesting musical instruments here at, at the Auburn Heights Mansion. Even though the Marshall family were very much into business, they were also very interested in innovation and personal time and leisure. And one of the new machines that would have captured the Marshall family's interest and imagination was the Regina Music Box that you see next to me. Though music boxes have been around for many, many years, in Germany, a new invention had come around, a new manner of making music boxes. Instead of having a machine and each machine playing one song, instead a flat disc with the song imprinted on it that could easily be lifted out and replaced with a different disc, a different song. Folks think of it as sort of like a brand new CD technology. It was groundbreaking and everyone wanted one. But of course, Germany to the United States is a pretty big distance. So Germany sent over employees uh, to the United States to Rahway, New Jersey, where they founded the Ridge or Regina Music Box Company. This company became famous around the world, not just in the United States, and they made quite a lot of money at it. Uh, they were easy to use relatively and pretty lightweight. However, by 1915, Regina Music Boxes became out of date because of the brand new invention of the gramophone and how much more uh, convenient and affordable the gramophone was. So Regina Music Boxes got out of date. Very few of them actually exist in museums today. We're kind of uh, honored to have one in our collection. And the reason that they were destroyed, both world wars, because Regina Music Boxes, each disc is made of metal, very valuable for the war effort in World War I and World War II, and many citizens who had these sitting in their attic, they just donated them to the war effort, and so they were sadly destroyed. Each of the discs that go inside the Regina Music Box usually have uh, Rahway, New Jersey printed on it, or if not, they have uh, Regina on it. And it has the name of the song, and if this blank area where there's no holes has labeled beginning, because this is where you want to start the disc spinning, because going in this direction, the song will start playing. Each of these holes are actually embossed inward, so the other side has these sharp points that as it goes along the music box, it will basically pluck the strings, just like in a small jewelry box, music box, the cylinder spins with the little points to pluck the strings. This is just a more sophisticated version of that. So it's pretty easy. You pick up your disc, set it on flat, get ready for it to spin, and then you wind up your machine. Here at the Marshall Mansion we have the Regina Music Box and we have many of its uh, successors in the music industry like the Victrola, a form of gramophone, and the Electrola behind me. We also have more historic music boxes in our collection and other wonderful things to see. So we hope you come by on an open house tour to see this and more inside our mansion.